Hey, this is Kyle with One Point Solutions. Today we're going to look at, is epoxy really better than phenolic? Let's take a look at that. So I've got a long list of chemical tests to show you exactly how chemical resistant epoxy and phenolic are. But instead of going through each one one by one and boring you like a Ben Stein lecture, let's just cut to the chase and shorten this video up a little bit. Let's award one point per test when one product is better than the other. If you'd like to see the PDF in more detail, you can use this link. Alright, let's do this. So based on our chemical testing, epoxy is not really winning out at all. Right now, chemical grade phenolic is better than epoxy. Let's turn the heat up a little bit. In our first test, we will take a propane torch and place it approximately three inches away from our sample block of epoxy and phenolic. We will expose those blocks to a direct flame for approximately 60 seconds. We will then proceed to see how long it takes them to extinguish themselves. We're almost through with our 60 seconds. Once we turn off the torch, let's see how long it takes for the epoxy to extinguish itself. It took the epoxy 6.17 seconds to extinguish itself. Now let's check the phenolic. Well, it's been 60 seconds for the phenolic. Let's reset the timer again and let's check out how long it takes to extinguish itself. Wow, the phenolic extinguished itself a hundredth of a second sooner. Let's move on to our next test. In our second test, we will take a MAP Pro torch, which is approximately three times hotter than a propane torch, and place it three inches away from our sample blocks of epoxy and phenolic. We will expose them to direct flame for approximately 30 seconds. We will then see how long it takes them to extinguish themselves. We're almost done with our 30 seconds. Once we turn off the torch, let's see how long it takes for the epoxy to extinguish itself. It took the epoxy 5.12 seconds to extinguish itself. Now let's take a look at phenolic. Well, 
our 30 seconds is almost up, let's reset the timer once more and see how long it takes this phenolic block to extinguish itself from the Map Pro gas. Well, it took the phenolic a little over one second longer to extinguish itself than it did on the first test, but with triple the heat, that's really not too bad. So we're back from our heat test, and while epoxy didn't light as fast as phenolic did, the chemical grade phenolic went out almost the exact same time as the epoxy. So with that in mind, what's really better for your lab?